But um, so Lindsay, um, when you were forming up the team, um, obviously pool boy wasn't going to be there and you were constantly, you're con considering moving over to the West. So what kind of made you stay in the East and, the, and pick up the guys that you picked up for? Um, your I, don't know, I don't know if it was more so moving, but I was looking into the means of like, the team, like me and Dick, I, don't, I don't know if we seriously discussed it. But we're like, it'd be cool if every, but it's every week you got to fly out to California and it's not like just over the border West. It's like all the way West. So, it, you know, it's a long flight too. And, um, we all have a lot of stuff going on back home. Danny's getting married this year. You know, I had like, some work transitions and Luke is going to the fire Academy. So it just, it just didn't, wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Yes. I was the ding, I was the ding dong who got fired. So it was a lot easier for me to do it. You had to come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ding dong. I can't. Yeah. So, so, how, so how's your team and like, um, who was like, you know, do each one of them have like a certain specialty that's like kind of meshes in with your team? For like the one I was on this year? Yes, the one that you're on yeah. this year. So the one for this year, I've always uh, been, I've always kind of gone up and up and back and forth with Ocean State. They're like a, ye a year, geez. They're like an hour from me. Um, and I know a lot of the people there. And Christine Middleton and I have always kind of been in contact. Her and I were actually on a team. The one shot I ever had to go to the games was when I was on a team with her during covid and we were ranked very high. I had Ray Fleeser and um, my husband on my team. And we were ranked really high. We got all the way up to Canada for the Atlas Games. And that's when COVID hit. And we went to the briefing and they sent us all home. And I was like, if oh, I had you, one shot. If you I had were one at shot, the I'm Atlas kidding. Games? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kelly Kelly uh, Clark was on a team there too um, with Elijah Muhammad. No, was it yeah. the Atlas? I think um, it was the Atlas Games with Elijah Muhammad. They were stacked too. Yeah, we were like, we were ranked second. So there, there was one team ranked above us, so it could have very well been them. Yeah, you guys literally showed up at the stadium, and they were like, sorry, we got to close yep. this down. Like, go bye. home. See you go later. On. I was like, that was my one chance. <laughs> I think Caroline Connors and Austin Spencer, well, Caroline Spencer and, and Austin Spencer were up there too. And they like almost didn't make it through the border because that's when like, they were like a couple hours away from the Canadian border, just like shutting down and like yeah. not letting anybody go through. Weird time, man. We were like in our Airbnb. We're like, well, do we just stay for the weekend and go out in Canada or do we go home? And we stayed, but we only stayed like one more night and we're like, okay, let's go home. <laughs> Let's just go home. <laughs> yeah, you might yeah. have stuck there if you didn't go. If you didn't yeah, go yeah. So we went. We went home. But um, yeah. So my team this year. So I've always kind of been in contact with Christine, um, and her and I work with Element as well. So we've always had like ties. And um, I think I shot her a message just because I didn't know what the heck my season was gonna be, and this was, um, again, my health was all over the place too. So I just kind of didn't know, but just seeing where. Her and her gym were at because I knew Danny wanted to go indie. Mike obviously is in California and Luke was retired for the season. So I just, you know, was in contact with her and it just kind of happened that they had two teams. Obviously, she was on her team that's like way up there and like fourth in the world right now. Um, it was fun watching them throw down. But um, yeah, they had it, they wanted to put another team together and um it was a lot of fun. Amy Morton would have been on our team and she's a stud and a half. She uh she, I think, was the piece that we were kind of missing on our team, and and Nate will say this as well, where she is very, very organized. She'll tell us what to do. She'll she's very like assertive, which we need. You need like that one person, and I don't really think that we had that together. It was all like, oh, what should we do? Who wants to lead? Who wants to call? I think Mike actually probably did the best job at that. Um, but it was cool to have that and that experience on a team. So it's really a bummer that we didn't end up making it. Um. And we did have um, uh, a guy, his name is Jordan. He is a phenomenal, like phenomenal with gymnastics, the ring muscle-ups. His handstand walking is probably the best I've ever seen in my life. It's like crazy. It's speed walking upside down. Um, and Sam, it's actually, he's never competed at semis. And we really wanted to get him there. Um, he's newer to the sport and pretty well-rounded. It's just, just didn't happen for us this year, so... Yeah, all good, all good. But uh, but pool boy, I, I know you you formed a team too as well. How how did that uh, how did that go? And who was on your team? I did. I didn't. I, uh, I, yeah. I think you were, I think you went on team. No, not this year. No. Oh, I thought I thought you were training with a worm with somebody. I thought I saw that on your Instagram. It was us. Old throwback. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I might have. Been oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, all no, right. it was solo, solo. We had. I mean, we have two capable females. Like I said, one of them was only five spots out of going indie. Um, they were just really, really good workouts for her. We just didn't have another guy. We didn't have another guy. That was the problem. Yeah. And how hard, obviously it was pretty hard for you to find somebody to stay at the affiliate and train with you guys. 
Yeah, I, I reached out to my friend Keanu Redongo um, and to see if he would be interested. But I, I know he had always been trying to go indie. Um, so I don't, he, I think he was just like half in, half out. Um, but yeah, no, couldn't, couldn't find anyone. I've been trying for a while to convince uh, my friend Rafa to go team because I'm like, man, dude, that's it's gonna be your best shot at the games if we can. Listen, just... you get him on a team, I will fly my ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, dude, that dude's an animal, man. He, I'll he make it happen. It. He kills it. Yeah, we did the. Uh, I just saw him over the weekend. We did workout three together because if there was any uh, workout that I would push him in um, at all, it, it was that one. And yeah, it was it was fun going head to head with him in, in that one. And man, I, I, I dude, he's on, he's on the cusp. He's on the cusp. I think if the workouts are, are good enough. For if they, if they favor him in, at semis, he's got such a good chance to go to the games. But I also don't know how many they're taking this year from each each spot. They haven't they haven't announced that yet, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. So, what did you guys think about the quarterfinals workouts? Individually or team? Well, both. So obviously, Lindsay can go team, and you can go individual. What do you want to start? Uh, Lindsay, you can go first. Ladies first. Uh uh, okay, so hmm. I I did not love them personally, both for biased reasons and unbiased reasons. So for biased reasons, so I came in, I came into the season A just getting cleared from a concussion, and B also got diagnosed with a herniated disc in week two of the open. Jeez. And so of course, like it was the open was dumbbell snatches and deadlifts. And I'm like, you know what? The positive of this is that means for teams for quarterfinals, we're done with those movements. And we were not done with those <laughs> movements. We got them again. Um, so I thought it was very repetitive in that sense. Yes, the load's heavier. It's a different, you know, somewhere different stimuli and I, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I would have liked to see more variety and more of a separator with the team workouts, especially with there only being four different scores this year instead of five. So mm -hmm. I wasn't super impressed. Um, I wish they were different, but again, also biased because we missed it by like 14 spots for semi. So I'm also, you know, a little butthurt in that sense. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. So, so pull by, what did you think about the individual uh, quarterfinals? Um, I mean, like, so, so like even, even for team, um, just to kind of go back on team real quick, I, I, it was very interesting, um, to hear everyone's opinions on them. And even like my opinion, I thought, I thought it was a little lazy. I thought a little lazy programming, um, for the teams, but to, in CrossFit's defense, I can kind of see like how it could be challenging to be somewhat creative given like the circumstances of like having to think about logistics of four athletes being in a um, camera frame with the proper movement standards being held with the proper equipment being able to shoved in a, a, a video camera. I really liked the first workout for teams. I thought that was a really cool program to work out. Oh, that was a great one. I, yeah. I will agree with that. That was a really yeah. cool program, to work yeah. out, but everything else seemed a little, just kind of lazy. Yeah. Agreed. Bit. Yeah. Um, even, even our workouts last year, looking back at them, I thought they were just okay. They were okay. Yeah. But yeah. again, like to cross its defense, like it is, it is a bit of a challenge to try to program sophisticated enough workouts for teams with all those logistics, keeping in mind, like floor space for athletes, equipment access, all that stuff. Sure. Now to shift over to the individuals, it was really funny to kind of hear everyone's groping and bitching, like how they didn't like the team stuff and how they were really scared um, that that would shift over to the individuals, especially with like Dave Castro announcing in his week in review that gyms would be able to run, run them in class uh, yep. settings and everything. So everyone was like, oh no, we're going to get another soft version of the open going into quarterfinals. And then the workouts get released and everyone's just like, kind of takes a step back and gives like CrossFit a, a round of applause. I personally thought they were great programmed workouts. I, I, I want to say it's probably one of the best programmed yeah quarterfinal workouts especially with the fact that i believe they're they're getting the right in, individuals to two semis and yeah you could run these classes or in run these workouts in your affiliate with the exception of workout three uh, workout Agreed. three would be no really way. hard to run but yeah. i'm i'm okay with that like have one workout where it's just like dude you gotta fucking do this on your own time yeah i agree um, with that so overall i thought they were great great workouts which yeah. one was your favorite Oh, workout three, hands down. Yeah. 
yeah, the, the hand stamp. But that was my best one. Like, look at my scores. I got like 150th, 200th, and then 49th or something like that in that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. I, I actually got into quarterfinals, but I didn't do it though. So oh, unbelievable. I oh. know. I know. I did. Did you guys what... watch any of the Taylor Self versus the World stuff? I, I did. I saw. Oh, I, God, I, it was so great. I saw the. Um, was it workout four with the dumbbell with not the dumbbell snatches with the snap uh, clean and jerks? Yeah, is that workout four? Yeah, yeah, so I saw I saw that one that was good, and then I saw Taylor Self like eat it implode, on the f- implode on the floor. Yeah, on three when he like just like fell backwards on the floor. Oh man, dude, big big shout out to those guys. Like the fact that they had the balls to be like, fuck it, we're doing this live. You motherfuckers are gonna see our scores, and we don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was that was awesome. 